Hi Anushi. Hi, good evening Saurav. Good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Let's wait for 2 3 minutes and then we'll start our space. Is it okay? Absolutely. Hi everyone. Good evening. So as uh, US ka CPI data hai shaam ko 6 baje August ka declare hua hai and ye data bahut important hai hamare US market ke liye as well as our Indian market ke liye. इसी डेटा के बेसिस पे आपने फेड डिसाइड करेगा कि वो कितना बेसिस आपका रेट हाइक करता है 0.75 बेसिस पॉइंट हाइक करता है या 50 बेसिस पॉइंट हाइक करता है आपने अगर अमेरिकन का इन्फ्लेशन रेट देखेंगे जुलाई का वो 8.5% था लेकिन अगस्त में 8.3% आया है तो मंथ ऑन मंथ बेसिस अपने देखेंगे ना तो वो तो ठीक है परफेक्ट आया है लेकिन आपका एस्टीमेट था अपना कम 8% था लेकिन वो एस्टीमेट से ज्यादा आया है so it's not good for our for our market as well as for american market and apne dekhenge ki jaise data aaya tha waise 500 point ka sharp fall aaya tha dow futures mein lekin month on month basis dekhenge to wo sahi hai and apne inflation last 3 months se bhi dekhenge na to peak 9.14 se 8.3% aaya hai bond yield bhi apne dekhenge wo 3.3% ke above hi hai which is good crude oil bhi last 3 din se apna 93 dollar per barrel ke aas pass hai which is good for our indian market and aapka last 2 din se dollar index bhi dip hua hai 110 se 107.60 ke aas pass hai india ka retail inflation jo hai wo 7% aaya hai august mein 6.71% tha july mein whereas we have estimated that 6.9% aana chahiye lekin aaya hai 7% so 10 basis point zyada aaya hai lekin 10 basis point itna zyada matter nahi rakhta hai itna important nahi hai mere khayal se next month ka aapka food inflation data zyada important hoga अगर वो सेवन परसेंट से ज्यादा आता है नेक्स्ट मंथ भी तो वो ये हमारे मार्केट के लिए सही नहीं रहेगा वेयर एस आप इंडस्ट्रियल रोड भी देखोगे ना तो वो फॉल हुए थ्री पॉइंट फोर परसेंट पे जुलाई में एस कम्पेयर टू इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इन जून लेकिन आप इंडस्ट्रियल रोड देखोगे वो मंथ एंड वन पाइस का भी कंपेयर नहीं करना चाहिए मेरे ख्याल से मुझे क्योंकि मंथ एंड मंथ बेसिस आप कंपेयर करोगे ना तो वो बहुत वॉलिटाइल रहता है इसलिए हम लोग को इसको ईयर बेसिस कंपेयर करना चाहिए एंड आप अगर अपने आस भी देखोगे सब जगह डिमांड बढ़ा हुआ है सब जगह लोगों का परचेजिंग पावर बढ़ा हुआ है आप ये देखोगे ठीक है गाड़ियों के आप शोरूम में जाओगे तो आप देखोगे कि गाड़ी की कितनी वेटिंग पीरियड है थ्री मंथ से लेके कुछ कुछ गाड़ी के वन ईयर तक वेटिंग पीरियड है मीन्स डिमांड इज हाई बट सप्लाई इज लेस बट इन्फ्लेशन में आपका अमेरिका में भी बढ़ रहा है एंड इंडिया में भी बढ़ रहा है एंड इस बेसिस पे अगर आर रेट हाइक नहीं करता है तो ये हमारे करेंसी के लिए सही नहीं रहेगा एंड हमारा करेंसी इस वजह से वीक हो जाएगा एंड अमेरिकन वाले अगर रेट हाइक करेंगे ना एंड अपना आरबीआई अगर रेट हाइक नहीं करेगा तो इट विल नॉट बी गुड फॉर अवर मार्केट एंड इससे वजह से करेंसी भी अपना वीक हो जाएगा इसलिए नेक्स्ट मंथ का आपका जो डेटा है वो बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट रहेगा वेर एस कल का मार्केट आपका देखेंगे मे को ब्रेक लेवल पे होगा कल का मार्केट कैसे रिएक्ट करता है आज का डेटा पे वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होगा एंड अपने भी आरबीआई पॉलिसी थर्ड थर्टी एट सेप्टेम्बर को वो भी देखना है अपने को अक्रॉस अमेरिकन मार्केट आपका देखोगे आप सेक्टोरियल पार्टिसिपेशन सही है और मूव है आपका अमेरिकन मार्केट में भी है ना हमारे मार्केट में भी ओवरऑल आप देखोगे मूड भी सही है मार्केट का सो so, मेरे ख्याल से मार्केट में थोड़ा प्रॉफिट बुकिंग आएगा बट मार्केट प्योरली बाई ऑन डिप्स है हम लोग को हर मोमेंट पे हम लोग को बाई ऑन डिप्स करना चाहिए नॉ कमिंग टू एफ फिगर एफ आई एस कैश नेट पाएंगे आपके वन करोड़ आई है एन डी आई की नेट सेल आप देखोगे वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट करोड़ आया है सो नेट में बाइंग ही आया है आपका एंड विक्स भी थोड़ा कूल ऑफ हुआ है सेवेंटीन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट के आस पास सो हियर वन ऑफ द मार्केट वेटर मिस्टर अनिश नंदा इज हियर विद अस अनिश जी ओवर टू यू थैंक यू एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस स्पेस मीटिंग टूडे एट अ वेरी क्रूशल टाइम फर्स्टली एज यूजल द डिस्कलेमर वी आर नॉट से रजिस्टर्ड दिस इज ऑन uh anything that we say uh, is not a recommendation but just a view and uh, you must consult your financial advisor before taking any financial decisions okay so we're done with that uh, so aise jaise saurav ji ne bhi bataya hai ki uh, he is given a very good summary of the current situation and uh, abhi us data has just come out a little over an hour back at 6 pm so this was a complete surprise for the markets uh, because the expectation was only 8.1% and uh, the inflation has actually come at 
नाउ इवन द कोर इन्फ्लेशन जो है आपका जो मंथ ऑन मंथ है दैट इंक्रीज हैज कम बाय पॉइंट वन परसेंट वेर इज द एक्सपेक्टेड वॉज अ डिक्लाइन ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट वन परसेंट सो वहां भी इट्स कम एज अ टोटल सरप्राइज नाउ वॉट इज हैपन इज दैट द मार्केट वॉज टोटली गोइंग ऑन द अजम्पन एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट इन्फ्लेशन इज ऑन अ कंटिन्यूस डिक्लाइनिंग ट्रेंड सो इट टॉप्ट आउट टू मंथ्स बैक एट नाइन पॉइंट वन परसेंट विच वॉज मोर देन अ फोर्टी ईयर हाई then it dropped last month to 8.5% which was better than expected that means the decline was more than expected and that's why the markets rallied and that built up very high expectations that the inflation would be at best 8.1% and it will probably even surprise and go lower to maybe i had uh, read estimates of some analysts in the us who quoted as low as 7.8% नो इसका क्या लॉजिक था एंड क्या रीजनिंग उनका था कि द फ्यूल प्राइसेस द गैस प्राइसेस इन द यूएस हैव फॉलन फ्रॉम मोर देन फाइव डॉलर्स पर गैलन ऑन एन एवरेज अक्रॉस द द कंट्री टू अबाउट थ्री पॉइंट एट फोर एंड अर्लियर टू दैट इट वाज अबाउट फोर पॉइंट टू टू अ मंथ बैक सो दैट विच फॉर्म्स अ वेरी वेरी लार्ज कंपोनेंट ऑफ द इन्फ्लेशन कैलकुलेशन सो सिंस दैट ड्रॉप शार्पली so the naturally the expectation was ke inflation will also drop sharply however what has happened is that the food prices are very high food and other prices are still very high and that has led uh, to uh, offsetting the uh, benefit by, uh, of the reduction in the gas prices now crude oil is currently hovering around 93 dollars brent crude per barrel so it's not falling too sharply also so probably now the market is a little bit worried that whatever gains we saw uh in terms of the inflation coming down because of the drop in crude oil price maybe these gains may not continue too much because the crude oil is not falling beyond a point so if you see it's not going much below 90 dollars the brent crude every time it goes below that it bounces back it comes back to about 93 94 95 dollars ukraine war is still going on and there were hopes also that Russia has been drawn from a couple of places in Ukraine but then the other view was that they have left the weapons there so there was a fear or there still is a fear that uh, they 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 might continue the war with a little bit more aggressive uh, kind of a stand so you see that is why crude oil is not falling very sharply even though there is some evidence of Russia having uh withdrawn and ukraine having uh, recovered some of the uh, regions which they had uh, lost to russia so now what this does for the market is that see market had if you see both the indian and the us markets indian market had recovered from a low of 15183 to today a high of 18088 almost 18100 so this sharp recovery that has taken place of uh, you know almost 1 uh, 3000 points 2900 odd points now that was based on a lot of expectations which have actually not materialized uh and and that is why you are seeing a very sharp reaction even in the us market uh in fact uh, from the dow futures high today the market is down more than uh, uh 1000 points the dow and that's a very sharp fall if you see on an intraday basis because in this current year i don't remember a point wherein the dow has fallen 1000 points plus at least on a closing basis so if it doesn't recover by 130 am our time then you know we are looking at a bit of a difficult time the sgx nifty already is showing a decline of almost 300 points uh, however my take here is that this uh, sharp fall if there is one uh, very sharp fall tomorrow in our markets then uh, that will be a great opportunity for us to buy and go long because if the us data had come positive as in the inflation had come only 8.1% then you would have had a rally not just in the us markets but <coughs> sorry but also in the world markets including india so you would have probably jumped at least 100 200 points on the nifty and you would have headed towards you know 18300 and somewhere around that level now instead of that you are probably going to you know come to about 17 800 900 levels so that gap which is there of 300 and 400 points Uh, would be a good opportunity for people who have probably not been able to capitalize on this rally that has taken place and uh, what i see is that 17650 to 17700 on the nifty is a very good base 
so that probably may not be broken at least on a closing basis so if the nifty drops anywhere between 17600 to 800 it will be a good opportunity to buy uh, stocks uh, uh, you know maybe in equities uh, 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 or also in people who use options and derivatives uh, to take a position because i see the markets are uh, bouncing back tomorrow after a sharp uh, gap down and then we'll probably not end so low as much as the initial knee jerk reaction uh, which might be there tomorrow morning it is there is also a possibility us markets also may, might recover some of the losses they have made and we may not open as low as uh, what the sjs nifty is showing as of right now um uh, uh, so that's what the summary is uh, my uh, take on it and uh, 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 sort of we'll take it forward and then pay, maybe we, we can come to uh, maybe certain stock specific or maybe even sector specific in terms of what uh, we feel and you know what uh, can be done from here yeah now coming to nifty i think uh, nifty support is around 17775 till 17800 and resistance is around 18200 till 18225 closing of nifty above 18000 is good for our market as 18000 was the psychological level and today we gave closing above 18000 so let's see we may see some sharp profit book in tomorrow due to the cpi data of america lekin mujhe lagta hai har dip pe hame buy karna chahiye जहां आप बैंक निफ्टी का आप देखोगे सपोर्ट इज अराउंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव टिल फोर्टी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड रेसिस्टेंस इज अराउंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड टिल फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव के आसपास मुझे लगता है प्रॉफिट बुकिंग आना चाहिए थोड़ा सा लेकिन एवरी डेप इज फॉर बाय अनिल जी विल यू लाइक टू से एनी थिंग अबाउट निफ्टी और बैंक निफ्टी absolutely mujhe actually i i am quite uh, positive on uh, bank nifty uh, in this fall uh, that is uh, likely to come tomorrow so bank nifty i see that after that initial uh, drop uh, because now the dow has dropped even further it's down more than some 850 points and sgx nifty is down about 300 points so if sgx nifty or your nifty opens about 250 to 300 points down then you could have bank nifty down by uh, anywhere between 700 to 800 odd points and that would be a good opportunity to buy um, uh, you know uh, also uh, it's not necessary you have to buy right in the open uh, because markets do give the opportunity it's not like the 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 moment the market opens it opens gap down there'll be a very sharp recovery because the sudden reversal that has come uh, after a sharp rally it's not going to bounce back immediately maybe after half an hour one hour there could be a bounce there but there'll be a lot of volatility so even if you miss an opportunity you will probably get another one uh, wherein the markets might again take a dip after a, uh, a brief recovery so uh, i i feel if there is anywhere between a 700 to 1000 point <coughs> fall in the bank nifty uh, the the bank nifty could be bought for people who uh, play the options and uh, who play the uh, futures market and uh, some of the banking stocks are also looking quite uh, a uh, strong you know uh, like icici bank and uh, sbi I, i mean i i like sbi very much and there are certain factors uh, which make banking stocks very attractive from a, a short to medium point of view so um, we can run through some of those factors uh, but uh, yes i i i would say uh, banking stocks uh, capital goods uh, some of these uh, stocks which will Uh, you know the reason they will do very well is because they will play on the theme that there is likely to be a sharp and a strong recovery in the indian economy down the line so the the uh, indian market has been quite resilient as compared to world markets because our inflation is still somewhat much better and more in control as compared to us and european countries we still at about 7% so even though expectation was 6.9 we came in at 7% but still it's not so high i mean it's not drastically high and uh, <coughs> the likely impact is that the rbi will probably um, hike uh, interest rates in its uh, next meeting on 30th september end of the month uh, by about 40 or 50 basis points so currently uh, your uh, um, repo rate is at about 5.4% it could head towards 6% but once it heads to 6% and if the inflation doesn't come in very high after that and if it's somewhat in control in the next couple of uh, uh, months then you could see the uh, rbi probably not going very aggressive on the rate hikes the 
other thing is that your iip growth has dropped this time and which has come in below expectations it's gone down to about 2.4% compared to expectation of 4.1% so rbi may play a balancing act in terms of uh, not uh, going very aggressive on rate hikes so that the growth does not fall and that momentum is maintained uh, as well as uh, somewhat to keep inflation under control because for us inflation is not as much a burning issue as much as it is in us uk and you know the european countries and even in some of the uh, asian countries um uh, so banking stocks looking good capital goods uh, looking good all those who missed out on opportunities on buying stocks uh, which have rallied uh, quite sharply uh, maybe a, a correction tomorrow or day after would give an opportunity to re-enter or to enter in uh, in those stocks and uh, hold from a medium point of view um i i i strongly feel that the markets uh, after the correction is over probably tomorrow or day after within a, a day or two we should probably could possibly head towards 18200 where there could be some resistance and uh, we may go as high as even 18500 uh, by end of this month so i am bullish uh, from the short and medium term perspective uh, and uh, all these kind of gap down uh, that is likely tomorrow will give a wonderful opportunity for uh, those who missed out uh, to kind of uh, ride uh, the recovery and the rally which is uh, likely to come uh, thereafter um uh, sort of back to you and then we can go into sector specific uh, i have some uh, interesting points to um, mention about why i am uh, bullish upon uh, the banking sector and banking stocks so we can go through that uh, i can give some data and some facts and that will help uh, yeah, you know the various participants and listeners in uh, getting more confidence of investing in uh, banking stocks back totally to you sir totally agree anil ji aap dekho ki abhi market mein na total sectoral rotation ho raha hai पहले आपके शुगर स्टॉक्स चले फिर पेपर स्टॉक्स चले फिर आपके ऑटो स्टॉक्स चले नाउ आप देखो कि लास्ट एक दो दिन से आपके फुटवेयर स्टॉक्स चल रहे हैं तो टोटली अगर विक यू एंड स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक भी मार्केट अभी बहुत है आप देखो कि कुछ दिनों से मार्केट रेंज बाउंड हो रहा है जो कॉन्सोलिडेट कर रहे हैं एंड दे आर वेटिंग फॉर टू गिव क्लोजिंग अब एटीन थाउजेंड जो आज मार्केट ने दिया है नाउ लेट सी मार्केट क्या करता है बट मुझे लगता है अभी एटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव के तरफ जाना चाहिए मार्केट थोड़ा सा प्रॉफिट बुकिंग आने के बाद वी मे सी ए राइस टूवर्ड्स एटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड क्या पता वी मे इवन सी ए न्यू ऑल टाइम हाई दिस ईयर एब्सोलूटली यस अनिल जी आपको अभी कौन से सेक्टर अच्छे लग रहे हैं कौन से सेक्टर इज गुड फॉर यू इज गुड so um, uh, maybe sort of uh, if if you agree i can start with the banking sector which i i'm most bullish on uh, if that's okay yes sure 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 okay so banking sector uh, see uh, let's look at some of the uh, data points and the facts see uh, the credit growth uh, that has come in at run uh, currently for q1 of fy23 at 13 and a half percent so this is basically a reflection on what the economy the underlying factors are the growth at being at 13 and a half percent in just the first quarter is a pretty ref- uh, good reflection on the strength of uh, our economy and you know what uh, is about to unfold in the near future and there have been a lot of uh, structural shifts uh, that have taken place uh, in the economy since uh, uh, you know last 7 8 years uh, as you all know is india is now the fifth largest economy in the world uh, and we have uh, this you know uh, distinction of having surpassed uk and this was actually happened as early as december of 21 so so that's uh, you know something uh, great for our country um the other thing is the india share uh, in the gdp is now 3 and 1/2% as compared to 2.6% uh, way back in 2014 and the expectation is it is going to go beyond 4% by uh, 2027 so so what is why i am giving you this facts and figures is because if this kind of growth is maintained uh, then this will present a huge opportunity for the banking sector uh, um, the other thing is the deposits have grown by about you know more than 5 trillion rupees uh, which is uh, uh, almost 3.2% growth on a year to date basis and uh, the earlier numbers were you know very sluggish uh, but now things have picked up and uh, the year on year deposit growth is currently at about 9% and the credit growth uh, as i mentioned is about uh, uh, that's uh, uh, about 15% <coughs> so basically in the last couple of years their credit growth was not there because money was deployed in other you know investment instruments uh, so that did not come in terms of uh, deposits into the banking sector but that 
money which was deployed in other instruments will probably get redeemed and that redemption you know is what is going to become uh, uh, in uh, lead to increased uh, deposit growth and credit growth so that money which will come will be a huge inflow of funds and that is what the banking sector is going to ride on so um uh, the in addition you know some amount of spending is also expected from the government uh, in the second half of, of the current uh, financial year this will you know add to the funds into the system which will give uh, an additional opportunity for the banking system to mobilize uh, more deposits so uh, if you look at uh, maybe a stock like or a car, or a bank like uh, sbi state bank of india which is india's largest public sector bank that the what happened is that because the bond yields earlier had spiked so they had a lot of uh, you know mark to market uh, losses because of the uh, treasury uh, losses but now that the bond yields have somewhat stabilized it's about 7.10 7.11 as compared to 7.45 and 7.5% earlier these losses will not be there and they'll be able to recover them because the when the bond yields shoot up the prices drop so when the prices drop the the bank has to you know account for the mark to market losses that is there but those losses what provision they have made that provision will come back because now the bond yields have come down to about 7.1% so you know that's going to be a, a, a factor which uh, helps uh, the state bank um uh, also the turning point for S, uh, sbi has been the bad loan cycle uh, is now somewhat over and a new cycle of credit growth has started so this has started because you know covid cases have stabilized or rather i mean they're not uh, it's not an issue now covid anymore which was earlier and uh, that's uh, been a turning point for the banking sector again and this has led to a reduced credit cost uh, for the bank and very sharp focus in terms of you know uh, uh, they have brought about many more uh, new revenue streams uh, uh, for 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 themselves so uh, sbi is one of the dominant uh, um players in the uh, various businesses like uh, not just uh, banking but insurance mutual funds uh, capital market so it is well placed to ride the boom in the economy which is uh, going to come in the in the next uh, you know couple of quarters um and uh, the other thing is when interest rates go higher and they have been going higher they've already up a, a, about 140 basis point the banks they they tend to enjoy a superior spread because the cost of deposit increases but with a lag effect which means that the the they raise the hike uh, they hike the lending rates immediately but they don't increase the deposit rates uh, for the uh, savings or the, the other accounts immediately so that difference which is there is what which adds to their uh, uh, to their earnings so that is another thing that is uh, going to uh, you know uh, help them and uh, the uh, uh, last point i'd like to make is the capex cycle is picking up like anything in our country so if you know reliance industries just announced a 50 billion dollar capex uh, plan <coughs> adani group is uh, on a, a spending binge in terms of capex and um, mr birla also made a very bold statement about capex uh, you know uh, doing very well in our country so if the capex growth sustains for some more time it will support our overall growth story of of the economy and our country and where we will we will you know confidently achieve the 7% plus uh, growth rate that uh, we are looking at in the foreseeable future now obviously if the country grows at 7% plus then you know it cannot happen without the banking sector so which means the banking sector will completely capitalize on this uh, uh, resurgence or this boom which is uh, likely to come and that is the reason that uh, i am extremely uh, uh, um, bullish on banks and uh, they there will be an increase in uh you know home loans and personal loans and automobiles and uh because see with inflation what happens is even the personal incomes of uh, people go up you know salaries go up uh, uh you know to counter the effect of inflation so all that will lead to more spending and then you have the festival season also coming up so i i would say that uh, look at some of the banking stocks like sbi a very uh, strong uh, uh bank uh, fundamentally and this will ride the boom it can easily go to 600 plus in the next uh, couple of months and look at some of the top private banks icici bank kotak mahindra bank uh, uh, axis bank uh, the, you know these banks are again hdfc bank these four top four five banks are pretty interesting on any kind of sharp fall 
um so uh, over to you sarv ji once again completely agree with you and mujhe lagta hai bank nifty hi aapko nifty ko upar leke jayega मुझे ये लगता है बैंक निफ्टी निफ्टी को ऊपर लेके जाएगा अपना सीपीआई इन्फ्लेशन इंडेक्स आप देखो कि वो ज्यादा है बढ़ के आया है लेकिन लोगों का परचेजिंग पावर बढ़ गया है ठीक है एंड लोन्स आप देखोगे बैंक के लास्ट कुछ दिनों से कुछ टाइम से कुछ सालों से बढ़ जा रहा है आपका जो डेट बैंक के वो कम हो गए काफी काफी सारे बैंक के डेट भी कम हो गए आप ये देखोगे कमिंग टू एफ इंडेक्स आप देखोगे एफ इंडेक्स आपका न्यू ऑल टाइम हाई मारा है राइट ना मुझे लग रहा है रियलिटी सेक्टर मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है काफी काफी अच्छा लग रहा है रियलिटी सेक्टर एंड आईटी निफ्टी आईटी जैसे नहीं जी विल यू लाइक टू से एनीथिंग अबाउट निफ्टी आईटी और रियलिटी सेक्टर अम या सो बेसिकली यू नो क्राइसिस सो यू आर परफेक्ट यू नो इन योर एनालिसिस सॉरी बिकॉज़ यू मेंशन वेयर सी आई इट्स अ गिवन फैक्ट दैट यू नो विदाउट बैंकिंग सेक्टर द मार्केट कैन नॉट गो अप बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट you need the banking sector because the nifty 37% of the constituents is because of financial services banking and financial services so not just banks but even uh, other financial services so one when one third of your index is uh, constituted by banking and financial services it's obvious that you know for nifty to go up you have to have this uh, sector to go up so he's you're right in your analysis that uh, the banks will actually uh, take up uh, the the nifty to probably new highs uh, Yeah, you know, hopefully by Diwali or maybe even earlier. Um, you know, there was an interesting, uh, you know, report also I read that some of the top, you know, six or uh, five or six mutual funds they have start uh, they have done investment uh, currently uh, on the theme of business cycle. So basically, they are looking at you know you know the business cycles. You know, there is a, a starting and then there is a growth phase and you know all those guy uh, 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 the business cycles that are normally there. so they have identified certain sectors and certain stocks that are looking good for investment from a long term perspective so it's uh, you know it's interesting that on the top of the list there's more preferred sector is banks and in that they have chosen icici bank hdfc bank access sbi and kotak mahindra and these are you know happen to be my favorites also um uh, so that's why you know keep these on your radar uh, finance uh, in terms of financial services uh some of the good uh, uh, stocks uh, or uh, you know companies would be sbi life uh, hdfc limited bajaj finance icici prudential and muthur finance so these are also well positioned uh, to ride uh, that uh, recovery uh, which is uh, uh, expected to come uh, in the economy they've also listed out petroleum products so reliance is at the top and then you have of course the all market marketing companies omc is uh, bpcl and hpcl um autos yes I, i i like autos because once there is uh, this one is the festive season demand that's going to uh, pick up and as we see you know recent mahindra mahindra that launch it generated so much of interest so autos will do extremely well there's a lot of thrust for ev sector also uh, so that's another thing and auto ancillaries obviously will also do a well as a you know a result of uh, you know automobiles doing well so keep an eye on you know companies like maruti hero motors bajaj auto tata motors you know some of these top uh, leaders um that are there in the industry <coughs> one can uh, also look at capital goods so capital goods when there's a recovery they also ride that boom so lnt uh, you have uh, uh, you know cummins india bharat forge kc international these are again uh, you know very <coughs> good companies timken india aia engineering the other sector which will do well uh, when there is a uh, revival is a uh, cement so so on a correction your cement can be looked at some of the top companies ultratech grasim shri cement ambuja cement uh, and uh, you mentioned of uh, realty yes i uh, agree with you sorry but realty you you know dlf uh, uh, brigade enterprises knr construction aluwalia contracts and over realty to- over day which has recently made a new all time high over day realty yes that's correct exactly so you know just make a note of these stocks and you know i i would suggest uh, that that if somebody is not able to make a note of these stocks in a because you are uh, probably focusing on listening and participating don't worry the recording will be there uh, yeah, and you can you know after the session ends you can go and hear back the recording and that will help you in kind of uh, keeping up, uh, making a, a note of these stocks so to continue uh, i'd like to mention also knr construction and connected with uh, construction and realty 
there's another good stock kajaria ceramics so kajari ceramics obviously will do well if you know housing and uh, construction uh, uh, kind of a uh, booms again the other sector which has been beaten down recently because of fears of recession in the us and i you know spending uh, uh, in the us is uh, it and software so some of the top names in infosys hcl tech tech mahindra tcs these can be bought on dips because you know i i i i completely you know have uh, a lot of faith for in the indian it story i, I think it's a, it's going to be there for another 10 20 years so these are the companies which are the leaders in the market and they will always get you know a large share of uh, whatever the business is there. and the, there's so much of uh, business that is going to come in terms of 5g and uh you know digitization and uh you know cloud computing and and that's something which is not going to go away it may slow down for a uh, some time temporarily but it's just not going to go so these companies will uh, with small uh, you know periods of uh, pain in between uh, but they will do extremely well so whenever there is a kind of a dip then these uh, it companies can be looked at and the last sector i'd like to mention is pharma so pharma is an evergreen sector um uh, uh, related to that some of the diagnostic stocks uh, took a hit but uh, that is because of uh, the uh, the uh, since covid has more or less gone away so uh, a lot of the testing and all has uh, gone down to a very low level so that revenue stream has gone, gone down but pharma as a sector will do well so look at some of the top companies like dr reddy's uh, sun pharma uh, torrent pharma ipca uh these are again uh, good uh, uh, stocks to be invested uh, whenever uh they so the reason i've given you all so many sectors and stocks is that a lot of times in the market there is sector rotation so one sector will do well and the other will go down so when one of them goes down you can invest in it and when the, something goes up and if you've already invested then you know uh, you're kind of uh, uh, been able to capitalize on a dip which was there earlier so these top companies are looking good and overall markets uh, after a brief correction should uh, resume their uptrend and uh, i don't think this uh, 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 you know one day of uh, or one month of uh, this uh, inflation uh, high for numbers in the us will affect the indian economy so much it's going to cause pain in the us but not as much in india and you see the 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 rise in the dow if you compare that with the nifty there's a big difference the dow has recovered from 29600 to went up to almost or i think 34000 whereas the nifty has almost come to the lifetime high of 18604 so today is if you see the high almost 18100 we were just uh, about 500 points away from the all time high whereas the dow even though it made a high of uh, recently of 34000 was still uh, you know almost 3000 points away from its all time high so that is you know giving you an indication that the indian economy and the indian markets are much more resilient and now to a big extent compared to earlier we are kind of um, uh, you know decoupling i mean not 100% because if it was 100% then we would not have uh, the markets uh, react in terms of the hsx nifty the way it is right now but every time there's a you know sharp fall in our markets uh, if you see even recently uh, about i think 10 15 days back we and nifty made a low of 17166 and then it bounced back to almost 18100 you know 900 point rally so you see all uh, 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 falls uh, or sharp pullbacks are opportunities to reenter and then you know you kind of uh, ride the rally uh, once uh, it resumes uh, back to you sir yes main isme na aapka nifty fmg sector bhi include karna chahunga nifty fmg sector mein jaise aapka itc ho gaya uh, britannia HUL and then Adani Bilmar. I'm very bullish on Adani Bilmar. Uh, soon, we will get it. 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 And I think 1000 we may see soon on cards. Then, your new IPOs are like Metro, then Maniwar, then Amy Organic, then Stone Bee. Then, you will get it. 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 And then I'm I'm a big fan of QSR. The like QSR, I'm your Sapphire Food. Okay, the Vanny International. Okay, and look, these all the fundamentals are quite strong. And people should keep it. Then like Jubilee Food. Okay, your 
then one can even go for zomato for in, for long term long term means uh, aapka five, minimum 5 to 6 years zomato is not for trading purpose and uh, right now aapka zomato jo aapka 56 60 ke aas pass hai ye perfect hai aapka kharidne ke liye mujhe lagta hai but uh, main yahi bolunga logo ko ki ek bar mein log invest nahi kare usko aapke dip dip mein buy karke rakhe for long term for investment purpose yes sir anil ji aap uh, kuch bolna chahenge naye jo ipos hai ye sab ke bare mein uske upar नहीं बिल्कुल आई थिंक कंजम्पन स्टोरी इंडिया में तो इज अ लॉन्ग टर्म स्टोरी एंड कंजम्पन इज ऑलवेज बीन द मेन स्टे ऑफ आर इकोनॉमी एंड दैट विल बी देयर एंड अ स्लाइट डिप्स हियर एंड देयर विल कम बट अदरवाइज फ्रॉम आर परस्पेक्टिव यू नो द कंजम्पन स्टोरी इज इज देयर सो एफ एम सी जी यस अगेन एफ एम सी जी इज अ गुड सेक्टर टू बी इन्वेस्टेड इन सम ऑफ द गुड ग्रोथ स्टॉक्स सौरभ आई थिंक मे बी वी कैन because since beginning just the two of us have been talking we can invite uh, or uh, you know ask uh, some listeners to kind of also yeah. participate uh, share their views or even ask questions you know uh, whatever yeah. they would like to do yeah i was about to so if anyone wants to say anything or want to ask anything then they can send a speaker request or if anyone have any stock queries then they can even send a speaker request and solve their doubt uh, just a question uh, does anyone uh, you know play in the futures market or Uh, maybe in options and uh, if anyone does we can probably you know uh, take some questions uh, connected to that also if a- everyone's just a pure investor that's fine that's uh, that's great uh, we can you know invite a variety of questions uh, which can you know uh, or maybe even in a discussion not just a necessarily a question uh, we can probably look at that maybe saurabh you can suggest something if nobody is uh, speaking मैं तो अभी राइट नाउ आपका स्टॉफ का फिर आपका स्टॉक्स है मुझे काफी अच्छा लग रहा है स्टॉप क्रॉफ मुझे काफी अच्छा लग रहा है आपका डिक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी आल्सो लुकिंग गुड आप देखोगे डिक्शन इज आल्सो गुड फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पस आप देखोगे डिक्शन अपना क्लोजिंग भी आपका टू हंड्रेड ई एम ए के ऊपर दिया है हंड्रेड ई के ऊपर दिया है एंड ये मुझे पोजिशनली बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मुझे पोजिशनली इसका फोर टू फोर लग रहा है इजिली मुझे लग रहा है जाना चाहिए ये आपका स्टोव शॉप में भी आपने देखो आप देखोगे लास्ट दो दिन में अच्छा मूवमेंट आया है कल इसने पांच परसेंट का मूव दिया अच्छा मुझे लगता है ये स्टोव का इजिली आपका एट हंड्रेड एट फिफ्टी हम लोग को आराम से दिख जाएगा देन टाटा मोटर्स इज ऑल्सो लुकिंग गुड ऑन चार्ज टाटा मोटर एम्बुलिसन टाटा मोटर्स एम्बुलिसन अडानी विलमा अडानी विलमा मुझे काफी अच्छा लग रहा है इसमें उसका सेवन थर्टी का रेसिस्टेंस जोन था अडानी विलमार का जिस जिसको उसने कल कल भी ब्रिज किया आज भी ब्रिज किया है तो ये मुझे लगता है आपका न्यू ऑल टाइम हाई जाना चाहिए अरानी मलमार और इसमें वॉल्यूम भी काफी अच्छा हुआ है लास्ट दो दिन से बाइंग भी अच्छा मिल रहा है हम लोग को इसमें और डेप भी इसका देखोगे काफी कम हो गया है इसका एज कम्पेयर टू पहले से सौरभ यू कैन एड डिफेंस सेक्टर ऑल्सो एज अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग सेक्टर टू बी इन्वेस्टेड इन फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग टर्म परस्पेक्टिव बिकॉज यू सी दर्मेंट थ्रस्ट इज ऑन मेक इन इंडिया and as a part of that uh, the uh, india uh, actually in the next couple of years uh, is aiming to become a defense hub for the country, for the world so see, there's a lot of lot of defense companies which will the, the, the orders will flow in in the next couple of years uh, and, uh, so one interesting stock that i i, I can you know that uh, I, i i feel is worth looking at exploring is reliance infra if you see recently it made a low of about 88 and from there it went to about 190 92 and currently it's about 165 this uh, company is uh, on the recovery path and they've uh, got a substantial portion of the money that was owed to them uh, by dmrc delhi metro and there's a uh, good cash infusion and liquidity that's coming in so this company will ride that uh, boom in uh, defense as well as uh, in uh, construction so keep this on your radar again uh, uh, good from a long term perspective this can potentially become a multi bagger and even you can one can see paras defense and bullish on paras defense even a bel yes. bel is also looking good as well as paras defense correct for long term not for this is not for trading purpose yahan pe jo bhi advice diya ja raha hai wo trading purpose ke liye nahi hai long long term purpose ke liye hai investment purpose ke liye hai and uh, once again we're just sharing views so uh, this is not uh, uh, these are not recommendations uh, since we are not sebi registered so just uh, treat this as more as a view and uh, educational purpose uh, and, and you must consult your financial advisor before taking any decision we're just trying to help uh, in terms of uh, uh, saying you know what is uh, what are the possibilities in the short term and long term yes 
ट्रू ट्रू यस नवीन जी इज हियर नवीन जी यू वांट टू आस्क एनीथिंग और यू वांट टू से एनीथिंग यस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी गुड सेशन बाय द अनीश सर एंड सौरभ एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू आस्क अबाउट आईटी सेक्टर दैट व्हाट डू यू थिंक दैट व्हेन इट कैन बॉटम आउट इन अ ईयर और मंथ मंथ वाइज क्वार्टरली व्हाट व्हाट आर यू व्यू अनीश जी yeah thank you anavin uh, for your question uh, see it sector uh, is a, is a sector which is going through a little bit of an upheaval you know see what has happened last one or two years the it stocks have rallied a lot very sharply and now they are somewhat you know peaking out and slowing down and correcting and profit booking because if there is a recession which is probably already there in the us and likely to be there in for the next couple of you know quarters in the us then you know the first thing in a recession in the us is the it spending gets cut so that fear is leading to somewhat you know the it valuations becoming a little bit uh, a somber and more realistic however that does not upset the long term story of the sector and that is the reason i mentioned that on any dip it sectors are a great buy because they are value buys you know they are growth stocks they are value uh, companies and if you see the history also in the last 20 years or so 20 25 30 years companies like infosys tcs hcl tech mahindra they've done phenomenally well irrespective of you know whatever crisis that came uh, you you had that the one of the biggest crisis was in 2008 the gfc global financial crisis you know these companies have been able to overcome all these kind of problems and obstacles and still maintain a certain level of growth so if you invest in it companies at a reasonable valuation you will probably not go wrong in the long term short term there could be little bit of volatility because you know that's the nature of the business that uh, the spending will you know probably go down but <coughs> the spending will not completely uh, go away no business in this world can survive without it i mean that's a fact you know they, they, you look at every phase of our life everything revolves around it whether it's a, your communications or your mobile phones or the way you work the way we uh, even socialize everything revolves and needs it and that is the reason it is one of the uh, better or you would say, i could say even one of the one of the best sectors to be in from a long term perspective this uh, growth story will last for minimum 10 to 20 years uh, especially for india so Uh, you know good uh, uh, investment look at again the top names uh, because they will always uh, do well uh, infosys tcs hcl tech tech mahindra maybe in wipro these top five companies will uh, continue with the growth story any dips that are there uh, you know you're getting good valuations like hcl uh, infosys went to about 1900 dropped to about 1400 then it rallied back to about 1550 1600 so you get these kind of correct <coughs> corrections of around 20 30% that is the time to invest and then just you know sit tight on them for at least a couple of years if you can uh, have if you have that holding capacity so uh, nothing to worry 5g is about to get launched and a lot of these companies will do well uh, you know they'll provide supplies you know services to uh, uh, telecom companies like uh, reliance jio and airtel so these opportunities artificial intelligence cyber security data analytics these are uh, uh, things which will do extremely well in the future so there is a lot of there is a growth story and that growth story has not been impacted in spite of talks of recession in the us somewhat little bit slow down here and there is is fine and that's acceptable but the story is intact that is what is important thank you uh, one more one more uh, suggestion i would give i am personally bullish on pharma stock actually mid cap pharma stock so if if you can also share your view on mid cap pharma my view are my pick is star pharma stride pharma and hikal both are uh, very much on lower side and i think in coming one year two year it should give a good returns so what are your views about stead and uh, hikal yeah i'm not very familiar with these individual companies but yes as a sector i like pharma because see pharma again like it the story is going to you know more or less be there for the long run you will always have developments taking place 
some sometimes some you know some kind of uh, pandemic comes up like uh, you know corona then in future they you know there's monkey pox then something else might come up so that will and you know normal you know also of our pharma is required you know people get sick and and things like that so pharma sector the growth again is there indian pharma sector lot of rnd is taking place and uh, 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 so that uh, come again look at some of the best companies so the companies that you mentioned they sound good but again i don't have detailed uh, analysis of their earnings and their financials uh but yes if all this is okay and you mentioned that the valuations have corrected they look very attractive then you can certainly look at it if the pe ratio is uh, much lower than what the industry standard is so I, i when you invest in stocks always look at the pe ratio if your pe ratio is much lower than what the industry is there and if there is no uh, nothing wrong with the fundamentally with the company then any short term correction because of some reason that is there could be used as an opportunity to invest in those stocks so i'll give you an example of a small company but you know how it was able to ride that boom you know natural capsules if somebody have, may may have heard of it it was just available at about 350 rupees a couple of months back today it's quoting at 650 rupees so you know some of these small companies also which have got some great products they are also likely to become multi baggers of the future identify those those companies also you know other than your large names which are anyway there large caps are there but they may not become multi baggers because they've already become multi baggers from the last 10 10 to years but they will give you reasonable returns but smaller companies which are on a growth story with good management and uh, good uh, you know liberal in their dividends and bonuses those will become multi baggers of the future so look at those kind of companies also okay thank you sir uh थैंक यू अनिल जी इसमें मैं ना आप जो बोल रहे हो वो एकदम सही बोल रहे हो लेकिन मैं आईटी स्टॉक में मिड टर्म मिड कैप जो आईटी टी आपका के पी टैक हो गया आपका फर्स्ट सोर्स लिमिटेड हो गया ये सब टाइप के जो है ना स्टॉक्स मैं उसको इंक्लूड और करना चाहूंगा क्योंकि जो आपने जैसा बोला कि जो मल्टी बैगर ऑलरेडी बन चुका है जैसे टी जो ऑलरेडी आपका आज तीन के आसपास है साढ़े तीन के आसपास है वो कितना ग्रो होगा और आने वाले पांच साल में और हार्डली कितना होगा पांच हजार लेकिन जो ये जो मुझे आपका केपीआईटी जो मिड टर्म आईटी आईटी स्टॉक है जैसे फर्स्ट सोर्स लिमिटेड नियर अराउंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी रुपीज ठीक है तो मुझे लगता है ये ज्यादा ग्रोथ चलना चाहिए हम लोग को इसमें इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए अगर किसी को इन्वेस्टमेंट करना है लाइक केपीआईटी टेक ठीक है ये सब स्टॉक्स में मैं काफी बोले सो सौरभ जी ये भी पूछना था अगर आप अपना राय दे तो यानीश जी ऑन फर्टिलाइजर एंड केमिकल सेक्टर विच इज नाउ यू नो एवरीबडी इज इन टू द एक्सपेंशन एंड डूइंग कैपेक्स सो व्हाट इज योर व्यू और if you can advise something hello yes anil ji you want to say anything you can listen to me yeah so chemical yes. companies you know some of the chemical companies have recently in the last one year or so they done pretty well you look at uh, deepak nitrate uh, deepak fertilizers uh, fairchem fairchem is a wonderful company uh, that's doing extremely well <laughs> it's a, so uh, i think these chemical companies yes uh, you, you see the uh, uh, today i think or uh, in the last couple of days tata chemicals has made a new high so these companies will do quite well again but you know what happens is a lot of these sectors whenever there there is always a boom and then there is a good correction also so the doctor i i believe deepak nitrate went to about 3000 or somewhere around that range then it came down below 2000 so when there is a good correction for whatever reason and people uh, for that uh, period of time they feel is gone out of favor that is the time to enter these companies because then you will get you know very reasonable valuations and somewhere down the line these good companies again come back in favor so whether it's a deepak nitrate or a fair chem or any of these companies uh, they will uh, give you opportunities they it, it's uh, probably not going to be a one sided rally up there will be opportunities in between also and that time you know look at these sectors and companies to chambal fertilizers deepak fertilizers uh, and there are some other good companies also in fertilizer and chemicals uh, yes those are uh, good sectors to be uh, looked at uh, from a long term perspective and you even and sort of you mentioned and gfc yes, is also looking good gnfc and gfc gsfc correct and uh, sort of if you uh, uh, the other thing is you mentioned about mid cap uh, some of the it companies uh, that that reminds me there are some excellent companies look at this one company called ce info systems uh, that is you know yes, map, map my, my india, india. Yes. Yes, yes 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 excellent company you know excellent pro- product and service that they have got 
uh it went up i think it went up to 1600 1650 came down to some 1100 now it's back to around i think 13 1400 yes, it's got yes, yes. a great story you know so the, the, look at that company uh, latent view uh you know latent view is another good company that can, in the mid cap uh, that can uh, that can be looked at so some of these uh, yes small to mid cap companies are great opportunities from a long term perspective uh, afli india again afli india is a, it's it's a very good uh, company and a very good stock so whenever there is a good uh, correction or fall um, uh, this company can also give a very good return in the uh, medium to long term thank you thank you very much welcome yes also to you krishna susan ji is here susan ji you want to ask anything or say anything hello sarab hello anish ji hello everyone hello i just want to add few things uh, means uh, in terms of uh, uh, upcoming market scenario so um, i am pretty much bullish on infra sector for short term uh, since i am also trying to analyze the things day by day that's why i'm just uh, uh, just telling you what what i am thinking for the next 2 to 3 months short term is 2 to 3 months so what do you have uh, means is there any view for infra sector from your side anish ji see infra sector uh, sector is good but only thing is keep in mind these are uh, long term stories so in short term you know it's kind of hard to time them because the uh, infrastructure means long term contracts so it's not something that we can say what will happen in a month or two but one thing is for sure as we're expecting the economy to grow you know upwards of 7% consistently and uh, we have this revival then your infrastructure uh, sector because of the boom and capex spending will do extremely well but that will take time it's not something it will happen in just one or two months so if you're looking at that sector then keep patience you know invest for a minimum you know anywhere between 1 to 3 years then you will see good returns uh if you try to time it and do it within just a month or two yes i mean you could uh, definitely have good returns because once the market booms then even the infrastructure sector you know on expectation it goes up but but the thing is that it's very volatile so uh, as compared to other sectors where there is more uh, uh, uh stability uh, infrastructure sector can be a little bit difficult to play in the very short term yeah i actually i'm looking for a uh, few of the stocks also especially lnt uh, adani ports uh, and uh, uh, grassim industries is there the um, infra for infra, infra play and uh, one of the cement stock also which is a part of infra also that is ultra tech cement right so these something is you know at the beginning i did mention that these are good companies to invest in because they'll ride this uh, capex and uh, infrastructure boom which is uh, going to come if you are somebody is interested in mnc um, of course it's already moved up uh, quite a bit but uh, if there's a correction then abb asia brown brewery that's yeah. a excellent yeah. company yes so look at the, look at that yes lnt of course is the market leader no no doubt about it comins india is is uh, is also good uh real estate like uh, saurabh mentioned can be a good play because if there is a boom in housing see the interest rates are going up so that will affect the emis but there is still good appetite for people who want to purchase their own homes you know and that kind of you uh, uh, you, you see that uh, they there is uh, the credit growth is going up and there will be increase in the uh, housing loan growth also so there yeah. some of these companies uh, which are the finance companies which like you know sbi and hdfc they will do well and uh, including the real estate companies L- there is a, a kind of a desire for people to buy larger homes that's the new thing that's coming up so again there it will it's good for some of the established names uh, godrej uh, obroy yeah. realty uh, yeah your your lodha brigade. group yeah brigade brigade enterprises exactly knr construction so these companies yeah, will you know uh, will do quite well so again what you, uh, one could possibly do is keep these stocks and companies on your radar on your watch list and you know the moment there is a good fall because of external factors or market sentiment us market going down this happening that happening then some of these stocks they give good opportunities on a downside they can they fall anywhere between 10 to 20 30% that is time you just pick it up and then you know wait for a while for it to recover and kind of um, 
you know show its uh, uh, results and then you know you ride that kind of uh, recovery and the boom that comes in yes sure thank you so much for your input you're welcome अरे जी होता क्या है ना इसमें मैं एक पॉइंट ऐड करना चाहूंगा होता क्या है मार्केट कभी भी ना एक साइड आपका चलेगा नहीं है अप एंड डाउन आपका चलता रहेगा ठीक है अभी हो सकता है हम लोग कुछ दिनों में अपना ऑल टाइम हाई देख ले ठीक है लेकिन उसके बाद तो मुझे लगता है प्रॉफिट बुकिंग थोड़ा तो आएगा तो अपने को हमेशा है ना जब भी प्रॉफिट बुकिंग आता है उसमें हमेशा अपने को अच्छे अच्छे जो स्टॉक्स मिलते हैं कम प्राइस में वो हमेशा हम लोग एक्वायर करके रख लेना चाहिए जैसे कुछ दिन पहले ही अभी अपने देखेंगे लास्ट वन मंथ पहले अपने को एशियन पेंस आपको सत्ताईस रुपए के आसपास मिल रहा था वो आज अपना पैंतीस सौ हो गया थर्टी के आसपास हो गया टीसीएस जैसे भी हम लोग को मिल रहा है थ्री थाउजेंड के आसपास अगर ये बेस्ट टाइम है टीसीएस के मुझे लगता है ऐड करने का लेकिन मैं ये बोलूंगा एक बार में ऐड नहीं करने डिफ्ट में ऐड करने के लिए ये बेस्ट टाइम है कुछ दिन दिनों पहले आप देखोगे टीसीएस चार हजार के आसपास था अभी तीन हजार हम लोग को अच्छा अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रहा है ऐड करने के लिए तो मुझे लगता है जब भी आपका मार्केट फॉल होता है ना हम लोग को हमेशा इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पज के लिए बेस्ट टाइम में रहता है आपका स्टॉक्स को बाई करने के लिए एग्जैक्टली एंड सी मार्केट ऑलवेज मूव इन साइकिल तो एक वन साइड रैली तो नहीं होगा so as you said ठीक है we'll hit eighteen six hundred आगे भाई एक बार cross कर गया so that then there'll be euphoria and then people will probably take it to eighteen eight hundred but then you know there are a lot of people who have bought at lower levels they want to book their profit or people who trade they want to short the market so that brings again the prices down but when that happens then that gives an opportunity for people to buy again or buy a fresh if they have not uh, entered as yet so good companies in a fall uh, as you mentioned also Titan Industries You know, Titan had fallen to about two thousand twenty one hundred. Now it's again come back to twenty six hundred. And you look at your uh, uh, this uh, uh, your uh, what's this Tata that software company, um, which is uh, more than ten thousand. What's uh, uh, Tata Alexi? Ah, Tata, Tata Alexi, exactly. Tata Alexi. I mean, excellent company. Yeah. Look at look at the product and the services. and just imagine just look at the stock price was i remember few years back just 500 rupees and this price is after a 1 is to 1 bonus i believe there was a 1 is to 1 bonus or a stock split something like that after that it's a quoting at 10000 plus so you see the returns have been more than some 30 to 40 times in the last several years i mean these are kind of mind boggling returns so if you identify a good company with a good brand and a good group like tatas you know there's one can you know have no problem in trusting them so if they have a good product and a good company and a good management is already there then you know that you are positioned in a very good uh, kind of a investment which will give you great returns over a period of time so staying power is important if one trades one can do that but then timing is very difficult then you know you need a very high level of skill that it's gone up sell it buy it back again but some day what will happen is some good news will come and the stock will just run away and you won't be able to catch it back lot of times some of the good companies they just continuously go in upper circuits and uh, there is no way to catch it i mean i'll give you an example i was told <coughs> this company which uh, will ride the solar boom uh, solex energy it was available just at about 115 120 rupees uh, i think barely two or three months back today last 15 days it's been continuously hitting the upper circuit and it's already go- gone to 363 from about 115 rupees so it's tripled in less than 3 months now if you try to trade in the stock you you know i've doubled my money let me sell it and i'll buy it back if it drops uh, 20 25% to get that 20 25% profit you will lose out on more than 100% which will possibly which can possibly happen in a few months so if you bought a good company a good stock at a great price just hang on to it if you stay you can probably get a company like a tata lxc with those kind of mind boggling returns but do your research you know look at the fundamentals look at the earnings the cagr uh, what, what is the equity what, what is the earnings growth what is the uh, uh, the eps if consistently you find the company is doing well then you know there is no limit to the kind of returns that you can get on your investment so i think investment is the best thing to do um, uh, side by side uh you know uh, those who want to trade also 80 to 90% of your funds should be in investment and maybe only 10 to 20% maximum should be in trading so that even if something goes wrong in trading in spite of your having stop losses at least your capital major portion of it is intact and you don't lose that and those stocks even in a downturn they may be down they may in, may be in negative but you know in a year or two they will come back in plus if they are good companies sorab you can add something yeah. 
वेरी वेल सैन अनिल जी मुझे लगता है आपको स्टॉक्स को ना आपको कोई भी स्टॉक्स को अपने जो इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पज के लिए ले रहे हैं उसमें आपका पीई रेशियो इज ऑल्सो गुड आपका कैगर इज ऑल्सो गुड प्लस हम लोग को ये देखना चाहिए प्रोमोटर और बैकग्राउंड कैसा है प्रोमोटर प्रोमोटर का हिस्ट्री कैसा है वो देखना चाहिए अपने को ठीक है आज टाटा ऐसा एक कंपनी इसको पर हम लोग कम्प्लीटली आंख बन करके रिलाई कर सकते हैं ठीक है लेकिन आप बोलो कि अडानी को पर रिलाई करने के लिए इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पज के लिए मुझे नहीं लगता है क्योंकि ये क्या एक अडानी चल रहा है बोल रहा हूँ चल रहा है ठीक है लेकिन आप देखोगे अडानी का डेप देखोगे वो आपका उसका कम्प्लीटली हाई पे हाई हो जाते जा रहा है डेट ठीक है लेकिन आप टाटा एक ऐसा कंपनी इसको आप कभी भी रिलाई कर सकते हो देन आपका ये हो गया एस uh, हो गया एस लाइफ हो गया एच हो गया ये सब कंपनी को आप रिलाई कर सकते हो तो मुझे ये लगता है हमेशा हर डिप पे बाई करना चाहिए ठीक है लोग क्या चाहते हैं ना अनिल जी कि आज वो ट्रेडिंग किए आज आप वो लाख रुपया कमा ले ठीक है वो पॉसिबल नहीं है आपको स्टॉक्स को होल्ड करना पड़ेगा आप उसको होल्ड करके रखोगे तभी वो आपका स्टॉक्स मल्टी बैगर बनेगा वो तभी आपका उसमें प्रॉफिट आपका आप इंक्रीज होता रहेगा लेकिन आप ट्रेडिंग में वो पॉसिबल नहीं है ट्रेडिंग करके आप वो नहीं कमा सकते हो आप ट्रेडिंग में मैं ये मानता हूँ कि सपोज करो आपने लाख रुपया कमाया है ट्रेडिंग में करके तो वो आपको ट्वेंटी थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपया आपको वापस मार्केट को वापस पे करना ही पड़ेगा वापस आपको देना ही पड़ेगा वो आप लूज करोगे करोगे एब्सोल्युटली सॉरव एंड दी अदर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू एड विच यू ऑल्सो मैं दैट अवॉइड एज फार एज पॉसिबल हाईली लिवरेज कंपनीज द रीजन फॉर दैट इज दैट बिकॉज इन अ राइजिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट सिनारियो दीज कंपनीज आर लाइकली टू टेक अ हिट बिकॉज ऑफ द राइजिंग इनपुट कॉस्ट Uh, rather the finance cost you know the they they'll have to service that debt so then it's not easy to do that when interest rates are going up so today we are you know the repo rate is 5.4% it might go as much as you know almost to 6% somewhere around there it could peak out but when the interest rates are near or at the highest then these every even 10 basis points which is 0.1% increase in the interest rate for some of these large companies who are highly leveraged it becomes difficult to manage because the impact is great because they borrow very large amounts of uh, some you know several hundred crores thousand crores so there uh, you know it's going to be uh, it's a little tough so uh, look at companies which are uh, cash rich uh, uh, if possible debt free and uh, about i think about a month back i had posted uh, Uh, a kind of a graphic uh, representation of several companies in different uh, sectors and small large and mid caps which are debt free companies and and if somebody wants i can post that again uh, or share it uh, with the uh, people is that those are the great companies to invest in because they are cash rich that is the reason they are debt free because they don't need the debt they have so much of cash so those companies will do extremely well in a situation where the interest rates are going up because they don't have that additional costs and overheads with other companies have that means their margins are protected so their margins will either uh, you know sustain or or even go up further uh, because of this one factor uh, uh, in addition to other factors which are there look at i mean companies like dmart you know avenue supermarkets huge cash earnings uh, you know so those are companies which are great investment but of course now at such a high valuations then it's because the p ratio is 100 plus and all it's difficult but when they are available at good prices uh, in a fall then look at some of these cash rich and debt free companies which can be very good investments from a long term perspective anish isme main ek point bolna chahunga theek hai आज अपने एम आर एफ को देखेंगे एम आर एफ हफ्ते एक दिन में एटी थाउजेंड रुपीज कभी नहीं हुआ है ठीक है वो पॉसिबल ही नहीं है ठीक है समवे बैक नियर अराउंड टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू थाउजेंड सिक्स वो आपका साढ़े चार हजार पांच हजार के आसपास ट्रेड करता था तो जो लोग उस समय खरीद के रखे होंगे उसको होल्ड किए होंगे तो आज उनका प्रॉफिट कितना हुआ होगा वो सोच लो आप ठीक है वो ट्रेडिंग में पॉसिबल नहीं है आपको तो हम लोग को होल्ड करना पड़ेगा पेशेंसली अपने को होल्ड करना पड़ेगा मैं अभी आपका लास्ट टू लास्ट वीक डिक्शन का एग्जांपल देता हूँ आई बहुत डिक्शन अराउंड फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एट्टी अराउंड एंड आपका नेक्स्ट डे आपका वो फोर के आसपास वो फॉल हो गया था ठीक है तो मैं चाहता था उसको लॉस बुक कर लेते मैं निकल जाता लेकिन मैं उसको होल्ड किया पेशेंटली एंड आज आप देखो डिक्शन ट्रेडिंग अराउंड फोर तो हम लोग को होल्ड करना पड़ेगा अगर होल्ड नहीं करेंगे अपने स्टॉक्स को तो अपने प्रॉफिट कभी नहीं मिलेगा absolutely you know well said and uh, as you know do your research see if there is a trend uh, a certain um, opportunity because uh, which has come up because of a certain situation in the external sin- uh, you know scenario identify that i'll give you one example uh, way back in 2020 i had identified a company uh, which will do extremely well because of the circumstances so crude oil was quoting at uh, 
one of the highest uh, uh, about 148 149 dollars per barrel and there was this one company which was actually an import substitute for the services they were offering <coughs> you know the mind boggling returns it gave at 200 uh, the the price where i had identified the stock and i had recommended it to many of my contacts that stock in just 20 months, not even two years, went up from 200 to 27,500. 27,500. The company, Aban Offshore. So they were supplying the rigs to, you know, uh, oil uh, for oil drilling to companies like uh, Reliance and ONGC. So they had these fixed contracts and it was huge cash earnings. And that too, saving uh, precious foreign exchange, which the country needed very badly in the year, around the year 2000. So the, the earnings were almost, you know, per rig were almost one lakh dollars a day. I mean, phenomenal kind of earning. And there, uh, the, the, the expenses were not that high. And because crude oil was so high, the rig rates were proportionately extremely high. So that company wrote the, uh, you know, that entire boom. And that made the stock jump from 200 to 27,500 in less than two years. However, once that oil boom collapsed, the prices came down, the stock came crashing down. And today, you know, it's quoting at just about 60 odd, 50, 60 odd rupees. So timing is very important and identifying the opportunity, the sector and the theme. So that was there. Enter in at the right time, but exit also at the right time when you're making super normal and uh, phenomenal returns, because then you know that now it's too good to be true. That is the time, you know, you just cash in and doesn't matter even if it goes up further from there because you've made a good uh, good amount for yourself, which probably if you can find such a stock, even once, maybe in a decade or in your lifetime, you've, you know, you've been extremely successful because that one stock or that one investment can, you know, really change your entire life. So look at something like that. And like I mentioned, Tata Alexi, I mean, 500 uh, odd rupees turning to you know, more than 10,000 and that too are in spite of our one is to one bonus. So these are the themes and companies that one needs to identify with the uh, changing, you know, situation. And uh, the best companies which are able to capitalize on the opportunities, those are the companies to invest in. And there you'll probably not go wrong. You know, you'll be relatively better off as compared to normal investments, which may carry a, a higher amount of risk. So risk management is important. Some amount of risk taking is required, because if you don't take risk, then you will not get that high returns. Then you will probably have to just, you know, be comfortable or happy with FD returns of, you know, around six odd percent. So maximum it will go up to maybe 7%, 8%, no matter how much the interest rate go up. But you will not get the returns like, you know, 50%, 100%, 200% or multi-baggers. So, so distribute your portfolio accordingly. Invest in some high growth companies and... But however, keep some good names, some large caps, which may not give you good returns, but at least they'll safeguard you in a downturn. So you're balanced. So it's not like suddenly something happens to one of the stocks you think will do well and doesn't do well. And if you invested almost 100% of your capital there, then you're left with probably nothing if something you know uh, didn't go as per your expectations. एब्सोल्युटली स्टॉक पे या पॉट रेट पे आप जो भी कर रहे हो सेकेंडली लोग में से ये भी पूछते हैं जी कि म्यूचुअल फंड में इन्वेस्ट करना है कौन से म्यूचुअल फंड में इन्वेस्ट करो म्यूचुअल फंड कुछ अच्छा बता दो तो मैं ये तो सबको यही बोलता हूँ वाई टू इन्वेस्ट इन म्यूचुअल फंड वेन वी कैन इन्वेस्ट इन अवर ओन आप ईटीएफ पे इन्वेस्ट करो ना ईटीएफ में हम लोग को अच्छा अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलता है निफ्टी बीज हो गया आपका बैंक बीज हो गया आईटी का आपका आईटी बीज है इसमें आपको कभी लॉस नहीं होगा इसमें क्या होगा आपका जो प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट है वो आपका हमेशा इंटैक्ट रहेगा वो आपका प्राइस आई जाएगा ऐसा नहीं कि वो मतलब जीरो हो जाएगा जैसे येस बैंक आज फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज का आपका एट रुपीज टेन रुपीज हो गया है लेकिन वो आपका निफ्टी बीज क्या है मार्केट नीचे जाएगा आपका वो नीचे जाएगा आपका वो मार्केट ऊपर जाएगा वो आपका ऊपर जाएगा ठीक है बैंक बीज हो गया आई टी बीज हो गया देन आपका दो और ई टी एफ है आपका मॉन हंड्रेड आपका ये नेक्स्ट है मॉन हंड्रेड देन आपका वन मोर ई टी एफ इज देयर मेरे कोई नाम उसका याद नहीं है वन मोर ई टी एफ इज देयर 
that consists of 10 st- mafang mafang uh, yeah it's a consists of a stock of 10 basket 10 basket 10 stock ka ye basket hai aapka top 10 companies jaise aapka google ho gaya apple ho gaya xerox ho gaya alphabet ho gaya sari sari companies alibaba ho gaya ye sare companies isme aapka included hai to so, isme ye sab mein log invest karke rakh sakte hain yes webab ji is here webab ji you want to ask anything or say anything yeah good evening saurabh ji good evening anish ji i must say good evening a very very uh, enlightening session thank you so much just wanted to know actually i am a commodity trader and wanted to know your uh, views uh, on crude as it uh, topped now or uh, will it sustain this 100 dollar thing or uh, will it go down from here just wanted to know your opinion also if you could give your opinion on uh gold as well in terms of investment so crude oil uh, you know like we discussed a little bit earlier also to uh, in the beginning the it's core uh, you know it's hovering around this 90 dollars 93 dollars see there's couple of factors it's not going up too much because there's fears of recession so the oil demand might drop a recession in the us europe uh, china is slowing down so these are major oil uh, you know consuming countries india we are doing okay so the demand is there but so because of that the price is kind of uh, cooled off from the almost 140 dollars a barrel to about 90 92 93 dollars but at the same time it's not going down too much also uh, because the ukraine war is still going on so so with that the supply constraints are there and you know then there is europe uh, and the sanctions and all that so that will ensure that the for the short term the prices will remain in this band of between 80 to 100 105 dollars a barrel you know it's not going to move too much up or too much down um uh, the your gold uh, uh, again is not uh, something today which is going to move up very sharply because gold is no longer uh, looked at as uh, as a you know safe haven during times of uncertainty so you have more uh, of uh, people my when there is fear then there's money moving into us bonds which are the treasuries and into the uh, us dollar the dxy and that is the reason you today you see the treasuries and the dollar index are spiking because there's fear that uh, the interest rates are going to be hiked uh, very aggressively on september 21st by the fed uh, you know 75 basis points and small uh, probability of even 100 basis points increase so that's uh, what is there uh, uh, so whenever there is fear of recession then commodities kind of they soften a bit because then there is uh, uh, there is the fear that the demand might kind of slow down and that's the reason then uh, earlier whatever hike we saw and that huge uh, surge in commodities like steel and all these was because there was the supply constraint and now that was because of covid but now covid is more or less gone so that uh, reason is not there so supply constraints have reduced and they'll probably get eliminated in due course of time okay thank you just just to add on to this question so uh, does it mean that uh, whenever the war settles down the crude will come back to its 60 65 dollar range it's possible okay thank you thank you for your inputs welcome mm. yes dasna ji you want to ask anything or say anything Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for letting me speak, and <clears throat> I would like to congratulate both of you, Saraji and Anishu, for this lovely space. It was actually amazing. Though I could not hear the entire thing because of uh, some uh, network issues. I hope uh, the same, <clears throat> some recording is available for the same, and. Uh, मुझे uh, सिर्फ एक क्वेरी है uh, मेरे साथ होता ही है वेन एवर आई इन्वेस्ट वट एवर प्रॉफिट इफ आई एम गेटिंग आई टेंड टू जस्ट बुक इट लाइक थोड़ा सा ऊपर होता है एंड आई जस्ट टेंड टू बुक टू प्रॉफिट इन स्पाइट ऑफ नोइंग दैट इट विल गो अप एंड वेन एवर आई इनकर लॉस आई डोंट नो सम हाउ आई मैनेज टू जस्ट होल्ड ऑन एंड फू गेट द स्टॉप लॉस आई डोंट नो वाई एंड अल्टीमेटली इट्स लाइक पूरा वो प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है अल्टीमेटली 
so i how to how to overcome this if you uh, can suggest uh, like swaraj ji and his team इसमें होता क्या है ना मैम आप क्वांटिटी है ना लिमिटेड रखो ठीक है आप इतने क्वांटिटी ले जिसमें आप ना आराम से रिलैक्स कर सको ठीक है आपको दिक्कत नहीं हो उसमें मार्केट आप बीस पॉइंट भी गिर गया होगा तो आपको दिक्कत नहीं हो ठीक है लोगों को सब जाके पूछो नहीं कि क्या होगा क्या होगा क्या होगा इसलिए मैं बोलता हूँ रिस्क रिवॉर्ड रिस्क हमेशा अपना कम होना चाहिए उसी हिसाब से अपने स्टॉक बाय करना चाहिए आप ये देखोगे अगर आप रिस्क बाय रिवॉर्ड के हिसाब से बाई करोगे अगर ठीक है तो आपको उसमें कोई दिक्कत कभी आना नहीं चाहिए सेकेंडली रहा पर आपका प्रॉफिट का आपका प्रॉफिट जल्दी बुक कर लेते हैं ये तो सबके साथ होता है हम लोग सबके साथ होता है कि प्रॉफिट हम लोग जल्दी बुक कर लेते हैं लॉस हम लोग होल्ड करते हैं बट मैं ये बोलूंगा कि लॉस हम लोग को स्टॉप लॉस पे जब भी स्टॉप लॉस अपना हेट हो हम लोग को वहां से निकल जाना चाहिए उस समय अपने को ये नहीं देखना चाहिए कि अपना लॉस पांच का हो रहा है दस का हो रहा है या पचास का हो रहा है इसमें एक चीज और मैं बोलना चाहूंगा आपको प्रॉफिट में अगर आप जल्दी बुक कर ले रहे हो तो उसमें आप एक चीज कर सकते हो अपना ट्रेडिंग स्टॉप लॉस का ना आप ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट करते कर सकते हो सपोज आपको 450 फिफ्टी तो आपका टारगेट आपका 450 आ गया है ठीक है आपका 440 फोर थर्टी का स्टॉप लॉस तो आप फोर से उसको स्टॉप लॉस बढ़ा के फोर कर दो दिन वो आपका फोर सिक्सटी का प्राइस स्टॉप प्राइस तो आप फोर से बढ़ा के फोर कर दो अपना स्टॉप लॉस ठीक है तो आप ट्रेडिंग स्टॉप लॉस तो ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट करते रहोगे ना तो उसमें भी आप प्रॉफिट में जल्दी से नहीं निकलोगे Okay, and I okay. can add to that. Uh, another thing is that you know, if you have identified a great stock with a great company and a very good theme, so then keep a long horizon. You know, anywhere between one year to three years or five year. Then whatever happens in between, you should not be worried about it as long as the story is intact. There's nothing wrong fundamentally with the company or the sector. If that's the case, then don't worry because market, the nature, inherent nature is volatility. So it will go up. It's, it's going to go down. Sometimes it will crash. Sometimes it will boom because it's not a fixed deposit. That is the reason that you know the the risk reward is there. If you take more risk, you get more reward. But then there is also some things which can go wrong. So as long as the stock is not breaking its major uh, uh, long term average, which is the two hundred days moving average, you are okay with it. You know. So so keep that in mind. You know, it's very easy to track the two hundred days moving average. All you can need to do is just say two hundred DMA. Uh, and give the stock name you will get several sites which will give you the the that figure money control and so many other sites so just stay invested in the stock for the long run and in spite of any uh, short term upheaval in the long run as long as it's a good uh, company and a good uh, a growth story it will give you very handsome returns and uh, if you feel that you tend to kind of brook your profits too fast then try uh, to avoid looking at the stock price every single day because then what will happen you will get emotional <laughs> one day it comes down then you will feel oh my god i'm making a loss the next day it comes back to your cost then you will probably or a small profit you will get rid of it just leave it for some time and then look at it you know occasionally maybe just once in 15 days or once in a month if you have a horizon of maybe 2 to 3 years that way you will resist the temptation or the fear uh, and you know exit uh, much earlier than what the potential is yeah true 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 i agree with you thank you so much you're welcome okay तो टू सम अप दिस अदर थिंग्स आई वुड से निफ्टी मुझे अच्छा लग रहा है अभी सीपीआई डेटा के हिसाब से थोड़ा प्रॉफिट बुकिंग मिल सकता है बट हमें को हम लोग को अपने को बाई बाई ऑन डिप्स करना चाहिए अगर प्रॉफिट बुकिंग मिलता है तो अच्छे से उसको आप कैप्चर करो अच्छे से उसको पकड़ो एंड उसको होल्ड करके रखो मैं यही बोलना चाहूंगा अनिल जी ओवर टू यू Yes, absolutely, Saurabh ji. Uh, very well, uh, you know, conducted, and I must uh, thank you and congratulate you. Uh, excellent views, uh, both fundamentally and uh, uh, technically, and you have given a very good uh, uh, picture of the whole entire market. Uh, so again, you know, uh, we're looking at a, a, a sharp uh, fall probably tomorrow in the morning because Dow is down some nine hundred odd points, and that has come in as a complete shock uh, to markets, which are expecting a rally. Uh, Uh, so so now again so tomorrow maybe next tomorrow or day after there'll be a good opportunity uh, to buy the stocks that one could not because the prices had uh, risen too fast and too much uh, tomorrow if there's a fall of 300 350 whatever the market uh, you know gives the correction try to enter and uh, yeah, maybe one can enter only partially and then if there's a further fall then you know uh, buy the additional uh, uh, number that uh, you can do uh but yes nothing uh, this does not upset our growth story our growth story is intact our markets are resilient they will show their resilience after an initial knee jerk reaction because knee jerk reaction is mostly by traders not by investors so they will uh, probably you know holding overnight positions the people who are long uh, are expecting something and it's gone against them they will try to get out in the morning uh 
but otherwise um, uh, use this as an opportunity to enter uh, great stocks we have mentioned the sectors and the companies uh, look at them analyze them and once you get the right uh, uh, price uh, don't hesitate to you know buy them and uh, wish you good luck and happy investing and we'll stay connected if anyone has further questions uh, we uh, are there uh, we can be sent a dm or um, uh, contacted uh, individually thank you so much everyone good night thank you thank you anishi for joining thank you everyone for joining good night